Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video all right, Scorpio, so uh, this is going to be your uh, monthly reading, April 2022nd. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, so you do not miss any of our uploads as well, uh, live streams. And uh, with that said, let me just finish the shuffle here make the cut and uh, see what kind of experiences how the month is going to be about uh, for you scorpio right so uh the very first card that scorpio has is going to be the king of swords uh the second card that will be the ace of pentacles the third card, we have the High Priestess. 
I'm saying we because I'm a Scorpio as well and that kind of like uh, lifts up my hopes and expectations as well from the month uh, finally ooh, we do have the ace of uh, wands uh, that is the fourth card of the primary spread now let's uh, draw the uh, the additional ones uh, page of uh, cups it is the additional one to the queen to the king of swords uh, then to the ace of pentacles is going to be the king of uh, the queen of swords uh, to the high priestess we do have the ace of the eight of pentacles that's a huge one uh, and finally uh, we have the seven of pentacles to the ace of uh, to the ace of wands uh, I don't know how to classify it as a month okay uh all i know is going to be beneficial in a sense of that if not else we are gonna break even either in our romantic experiences or either into our uh, business breaking even that is going to be the bare minimum okay that just only some of us are gonna break even others which are more fortunate actually uh, are going to um, excel especially when it comes to already uh, how can i put it into words especially into already established developments okay um so what i do not like into this reading it is that thing that we do have here ace of pentacles with the queen of swords and it only uh, tells us that things should not happen at all cost or i have not expressed it um uh, right but instead uh, we should allow things to develop on their own turf okay on their own uh, incentive rules so to speak just to give you an, an example say you like somebody you want to be with them all right don't force yourself upon them let them reach that conclusion okay let them reach the conclusion that you are a compatible person for them and by the end of the month actually for what it seems here you are the one who is going to stand on a beneficial position okay with these two cards because this is this is the moment where we decide should we give it or go or not regardless i digress a little bit i'm getting a little bit uh, ahead of myself but let's talk about the month in general okay let's talk about the topic of the month which is these two cards well the topic of the month uh, according to these two it's a, a topic of resolution what i mean is that throughout the month we are gonna pick up the fields of our life we're not happy with say you're not happy with your love life that is the field you're gonna pick up say you're not happy with your career uh, that is the field you're going to pick up or you're not happy with anything then the, the the life your life it is what you're going to pick up and by doing so instead of you adapting to the life you will figure out a way we are going to figure out a way how we can adapt the life that suits us that, that suits us best it's just how can i put it into words instead of we changing we are going to change the things around us we're going to change our love life or we're going to change our uh, our business life and so on and so forth it, it's a very uh i don't know how to i don't know how to put it into words it's a month where we're just gonna mm, kill it probably in a sense of that being indomitable and being unyielding we show to the our surrounding that if they're not with us they are against us and they don't want to be against us definitely but the beauty of it is because we do have these two here is that we're not going to do it aggressively on the contrary instead of showing you know how much somebody is going to how can i put it into words um how bad is going to be without us we're going to show them how much they miss without us you know that it's just we can have such a big contribution to someone business to to to, to, to someone environment you know that it just is going to be undeniable that they, these people or these uh these situations these situations have to have us right they, they just have to have us into their life for one or another reason in business is going to be for a reason that whatever problem in the business we can 
always figure out a way how to get out of this uh, how to get out of this problem so basically we are to show that we are the man for the job or the woman for the job in the relationship we are going to describe here that uh, you know it's it's kind of complicated to explain in relationship but i'm going to try to approach it into that in that way with these two cards we're going to show that we are capable to feel all right we are going to capable to give a huge amount of love but not at all cost and it is just uh, alongside with the love we are as well reasonable and how can i put it into words and, and practical and so on and so forth it's just that mix of um, of material essence and uh, spiritual essence that it is a perfect compound it is just a concoction that you find very very rare in the world <clears throat> and uh, very few people by the way are going to recognize it uh, we can see that with uh, the uh, high priestess and the eight of pentacles but i'm going to get to that in a little bit first let's talk about these two uh, these two especially in human interactions speaks that we should try to uh, how can i explain that well, I will try it that way. Having harmony into a relationship, it, it, it's easy, okay? And if you do take that harmony for given, or rather like if you strive for a given harmony, you can never experience a ultimate satisfaction because ultimate satisfaction comes from effort. And therefore, here, these cards are speaking that should there be even a partial harmony into something through our keen mind and the ability to adapt the situation to us or to adapt something to us, we will be able to accomplish that full harmony. Okay, and therefore, just because we find something that we dislike in somebody, whether it's a friend, family member, whether it is a romantic incentive, that should not be a reason for us to bail on it, at least not for throughout this particular uh, this particular month. So we should not strive for the easy for the easy way but rather we should strive for the way where we can solve uh where we can solve the situation and through that solving we to adapt the situation to us what will help us though we do have these two cards well they do differentiate when it comes to career and when it comes to relationship but what will help us in terms of career it is that throughout the month we will find a really solid place where we can be at uh, a place that will allow us to display ourselves and not just only display ourselves but do the best we can do to the terms of the job i hope that i do make sense here it's just the perfect place that is what those cards are showing and that perfect place is going to be long lasting one now in relationship there is no other way to 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 look at it rather than soulmates okay it's just but, but you need to know that soulmate doesn't mean perfect lover right that is very important soulmate could be a best friend of yours it could be a part of, it could be a member of your family but those two cards here are speaking of a huge bondage of souls okay huge bondage of souls that is going to be undeniable at some point and in fact uh, the person that's um you will allow to figure out what you mean for them is gonna start coming up to that conclusion and by the end of the month like i said you know they are going to be in the position that they will want more than us you know something in between us to happen whether friendship you know whether uh, a romantic relationship and so on and so forth so uh that is pretty much uh, how things are playing out uh, for us throughout this month not being forceful but rather showing to the situation or to the person how much they are gonna lose if they don't have us or rather like what is uh, what is going to be without us in it in the business or uh, or or in the relationship um what i like to call to my clients when you know they are asking a particular questions is that you know that you love somebody when you miss them okay and uh, that probably it's an avenue that we can try to make a person understand what we mean for them when when we make them missing us that is one way how to do it uh one other thing about these two cards what it's going to help us it is that this month is going to be perfect month for us to uh, establish the start of a plan 
that it took a long time for us to develop. That is because doing it throughout this month is going to ensure the development in this of this plant and plan, I'm sorry, and the results of this plan are going to be a long lasting ones and is going to help us a settle either settle romance, either settle a business, either settle a um, some kind of an avenue we uh, we do want to pursue and the results of all that by the end of the month is going to be some kind of a proposal an enterprise that is going to be offered to us by the look of it okay which uh, we are going to be in a position to decide do we want to take it or do we want to pass it the decision is entirely within us okay we get to decide what we want to do with it uh, why we are going to have such a stance do we want to take it or not uh, by the look of these cards we worked for it well it is because like we all know in life nothing is perfect and there are going to be aspects into that enterprise whether enterprise of romance or of business that are not going to be perfect for us and we will get to uh, analyze and how can i put it into words analyze and, and scale up is it worth really the hassle or not i look at the cards and i say it's, it's worth it big time it, it does worth the hassle okay some of you don't may not decide that way. They, they may not look at it, the situation that way. Uh, but one last thing I want to say here, uh, that is a very specific case of the month. It is that we may face some uh, jigsaws throughout the month. I, I don't know how to call it that way. It's situations where you have to truly put an analytic thought into it to determine how to move into. Well, these situations, we are literally going to kill it because through a very careful analysis throughout the month, of any kind of a situation that come our way uh, and will allow us to uh, establish a very effective strategy how to uh, make somebody feel good for example uh, how to be successful into some kind of a business you know or how to feel well how to heal and so on and so forth so should you find any kind of troubles in your life that you can't solve as of this moment or as of this point well rest assured that the months of um, uh, April, if you do put the uh, the time and the thought into it, the way out of these difficulties is going to be revealed to you, is going to be revealed to us. It's not going to be easy, okay? That is given here by these two cards. It's not going to be it's not going to be easy, but we can definitely do it. So with that said, Scorpio, this was uh, our monthly tarot reading, a bit uh, philosophical one, but it is what it is. Hopefully, you did enjoy it and you did like it. And uh, we are to see each other hopefully next time. Until then, bye.